Hi, everyone. Welcome to our session today on how machine learning can maximize remixing OERs in low resource environments brought to you by UNHCR and learning equality. We've all seen how during COVID national responses have shifted and looked towards supplemental digital resources to help support continuous learning opportunities while schools were closed. And these challenges that we've seen during COVID have existed for a long period of time. And we've been investing in connected education and building digital investments in schools for many years. We know that it's difficult for caregivers, teachers, and students who are all struggling to find their way through a myriad of education resources which are available to them. In low resource environments, this challenge is compounded by limited time teachers have to prepare their lessons. These findings led us to our partnership with Learning Equality, which started in 2015. And since that time, we've been on an incredible learning journey, identifying ways to streamline digital content alignment, work with a range of national curricular authorities and curricular experts and educators. Our goal was that if we could build a tool that would respond to the needs of a variety of actors, we could help governments more rapidly evaluate the OERs that they want to align to their curriculum or where the gaps exist with existing OERs. We could also help educators who would more easily be able to sift through the large diversity of resources and find content at the right level and based on the learning objectives they were trying to teach. It would even help students and parents who could benefit from allowing more differentiated learning pathways to help for individual growth. But what does it actually mean when we're saying to align digital resources to a curriculum? What it means is that often there's a digital library of content that are matched to a set of clearly defined learning needs and conditions. Um, and this is typically shared in some type of digital platform that makes it accessible. This reorganization of content is one of the five R's, the remixing step of preparing OER um, for use. However, what we know is that it's a really time consuming process where a lot of expertise is needed and it can be quite discouraging. And so what we focused on as a collaboration is kind of this two pronged um, approach. We've on the one side enabled curriculum designers to actually manually align OERs to national curricula. And then we've taken those lessons to inform the development of a set of tools to automate the curriculum alignment process. Um, improving machine learning algorithms to do this specifically. And so what we aim um, at the end of our initiative is when we're starting with curricular documents, we can actually ultimately end up with a way to communicate how individual OERs can be mapped to new country curricula or education systems. To help prepare for this work, we consulted educators and experts from around the world. We started by first discussing with educators based out of the Kakuma refugee camp in Kenya, where they told us how they were reliant on different strategies to sort through the variety of content they had at their disposal. We then held um, several sessions at Mobile Learning Week. In 2018, we held one that received 65 responses from over 80 participants who helped us narrow down to 21 general steps that is used by the global community when trying to align digital materials. And this helped give us an indication of what steps we needed to look at. We next started to ask what made sense in terms of automating different parts of the process. And we asked uh, again, this community of actors, what elements they would want as users, what aspects of the tool they would be interested in having be semi-automated. We use this information in, our, in March in our Paris Sprint, where we explored and negotiated suggestions for automation, including the work of metadata management, teacher recommendations, feedback on content sources, and much more. Building on this previous work, we worked to identify the steps for alignment, and we thought about what would be the most actionable first step. We identified that it was important that we explore further the potential of cross-referencing curriculum alignment standards. So all of this prerequisite work directly informed a hackathon that were held at Google's offices in San Francisco in the fall of 2019. We brought together experts in curriculum design, machine learning, and digital learning, and we really got to work. 
At our hackathon, we divided into five discrete projects, and by the end of our time together, we had the following outcomes. We actually digitized a curricula, um, taking it from the PDF and extracting the relevant data. We developed a tool for humans to make judgments when comparing two subsets of curriculum to collect user data. These judgments were informed by a rubric that we developed, um, and all of this led to improved matchmaking with machine learning algorithms. And lastly, one of the teams designed a user interface to be able to share this alignment workflow as the tool will be developed. But what we also realized coming out of the hackathon was that we needed a lot more data. And so we jointly supported teams in different countries to do manual alignment of the same OERs to different national curricula. So the five countries that you see here, um, we did this manual process and there was each one common content source that spanned across all of them. We also realized we needed to better understand curricular data. And so we developed a new schema to be able to extract relevant data from curricular documents so that um, through our machine learning algorithms, we could better understand different aspects of the curriculum. And this is where we are now. Um, individuals are developing algorithms and informing improved training models um, to actually start to continue building this tool. Um, so as you can see in the diagram, there's been a lot of work to date and we're currently in that automation process. But also coming out of this work, we've also digitized other documents and identified other public goods that are beneficial for curriculum designers and others that um, could benefit from, from understanding how OERs can be used in different ways. So if you're a curriculum designer, I hope you'll join us in potentially doing this manual alignment. If you're a government um, or a teacher working with different curricula, perhaps you can share your curricula with us so we could have more data. Um, and the work continues and we look forward to talking with you more at our M Education session to identify the different ways that you can get involved. Thank you.